So I'm quite the millennial. Born in 96, grew up in the era of emo music and Kesha and you know, all that good stuff that has now become like a fad on TikTok for the younger generation. And there's some beef. There is some beef between Gen Z and millennial individuals on platforms like YouTube and TikTok and really any sort of social media platform out there. We're a little bit older. We don't necessarily understand some of the lingo that Gen Z has come up with. And you know what? That's chill. That's how generations work. You know, the, the generation before us was the same situation. That's, that's life. Time is a hell of a thing. And that's just the way that the cookie crumbles. And I hadn't given it much thought, honestly, because I think that it is a silly thing to focus on because you know what? Like I said, this is the way of life. Time is an ever fleeting thing. People age in, people age out. Millennials are adults now. We are young adults up until like our 30s. Some of us have kids at this point, which scary thought, but that's a whole conversation for a different time. But yes, hadn't given it much thought, hadn't really thought about it at all. And then I went into Urban Outfitters today and I was confused. I looked around and I was like, what? This isn't like, this isn't my vibe. And I shop at Urban a lot. Like I have been shopping at Urban since I was a young, fresh teen. And the clothes that were in there just seemed very different than what I normally would purchase. And I was like, ah, shit. I'm not necessarily at the age where I wanna be shopping at like the Gap or like actual adult stores because as much as being 25 is adult, I don't really feel like an actual adult. That's neither here nor there. But I was in the store and I was like, shit, this is turned into Gen Z city. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to find anything in here that I would actually wear. And so a seed was planted. I figured, you know what? Maybe these Gen Zers have the right idea with their not so skinny jeans and their crop tops and all of that stuff. Things that I definitely would not wear on a day-to-day -day basis, especially as a medium-sized girl. But as this seed was planted, I thought to myself, let's give it a try. But like all Aquariuses who are met with a challenge, I decided that I was just going to, you know, do my thing. Why not try it out? Why not be a little adventurous? It is in the blood of my star sign, so we're just gonna buy some things that I wouldn't normally wear, and we're gonna see how it kind of meshes together. For the first time since I was probably about five or six, I bought a pair of pants that did not suction at the ankles and cut off my blood circulation to my feet, which was an interesting thing because like mom jeans really just like don't look good on my body shape, so I never really have purchased them myself but I saw these like wider legged jeans and figured we're just gonna, we're just gonna try them. We're gonna try them out. What's the worst that happens? I never wear them again and I just spend like $300 at Urban and never wear any of the clothes I get. Like bigger issues have been arisen in the scope of history. So I balled out is what I'm saying. I bought a bunch of things that I would not normally wear that align more with like the Gen Z lifestyle and generation and we're gonna try them out. Starting with the makeup that I am currently wearing because Gen Z makeup, very different than millennial makeup. And if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it like the whole way. We're not gonna skimp out on this. So this is not something that I would normally wear. I'm not really the type of girly pop that wears anything with like oil in it. I used a face oil. Never in my life did I think I would use a face oil, especially as a former Accutane biatch. But here we are. And honestly, it kind of looks pretty cool. It's a little bit more like, ooh than you're used to. A little bit more like in your face, like eh eh. We got some color. I don't usually wear color. But I didn't really know where to start, so I went to the good old YouTube and I followed a Maddie Ziegler YouTube video on how she does her makeup for Vogue because she's a Gen Zer. She's younger than I am. She probably knows what she's doing. So I just kind of followed it with the products that I had at home because I was not about to go to Sephora and drop Mad Bank on makeup as well as go to Urban and drop Mad Bank on clothes. You know, just my pockets aren't that deep. So let's do this. Let's, let's try on some clothes. Let's see how I feel about this kind of like transformation into becoming a Gen Z gal. So 
I took to Instagram in the middle of the King of Prussia mall and looked at some of the Gen Z influencers and what they like to wear and I really just like went for it at Urban to the point where they didn't give me a bag. They gave me a sack. We're like, you bought so many clothes that you are gonna get a whole sack. You're not even gonna get a bag. You're gonna get a sack, which is fine. I thought that that was pretty chill. That was pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna use lingo like I would imagine a Gen Zer would use. So let's do it. Let's let's get this going. So I checked the Instagrams of some of the better Gen Z influencers that are on Instagram. The Hannah Maloches, if you will. The Emma Chamberlains. The Addison Rays. Although I think Addison Rays is a little bit older. She's probably closer to like my age. Um, but I still think that she has a pretty cool style that cures more towards the Gen Z population. So I checked her Instagram as well. And some of the themes that I noticed. Number one, non-skinny jeans. As a former emo kid, uh, skinny jeans were my lifeline. They were the only thing that I would wear and I probably have more pairs of skinny jeans than I have anything else in my closet. So buying something on the baggier side felt a little strange. Trend number two I saw was kind of like cottage core, baggier, flowy type clothes, which is very much up my style, but not fit for the body type of a mid-sized girl because I'm a little bit curvier and it just makes me look like I'm wearing a potato sack, but I bought it anyway. Next trend, crop tops with a like baggy shirt over it, could be a Hawaiian shirt, could be a dress shirt, just really that like tight to baggy contrast was something I saw quite a bit too, usually paired with some baggier pants. I could not commit to buying like the super baggy, super like streetwear pants because I will never wear those again and I know that and that's not necessarily something that I feel like I can even like make fit my own style so I just like didn't purchase those. Another trend, apparently jean shorts are like out which hurts my soul a little bit because that's kind of all I own. So I got some more linen shorts, not with the ties because apparently those type of shorts are now chooky. So I did not purchase those. I just got like linen shorts that I thought kind of looked cool. And then the other trend I decided to try was the very baggy distressed, very large shirt with a pair of tighter shorts, which typically when I wear something like that, it gives me no shape. I look pretty much like a potato sack, as I said before. Um, I have big old milky mommy titties and those do not fit well with anything that is baggy because I just look like I am 100 pounds heavier than I already am and I am already a mid-sized sis so that is a tough look to overcome and try to make work but we're gonna try because content and I'm trying to be hip and relatable so let's try the outfits. <laughs> So I threw a bandeau on and then also this bralette just because, as we mentioned, big biddies do not work in a shirt or kind of like romper situation like this. So thoughts. I was hoping it would give me more like cottagecore frolicking in like a field of wildflowers, queerness vibes. And it really isn't. It's um kind of giving me like mom who's going to Lowe's to pick up plants vibes or like 90s mom vibes. Not really a huge fan of it. Probably I'm not gonna wear it very often just because it is not flattering on me at all. I got a large, which is what I normally wear. I'm normally like a large, extra large between like, depending on the brand size, eight to 12 pants. Um, it really just depends on the store because sizing is ridiculous in the US. And then usually I wear like a large, extra large top depending on if I want it snugger or if I want it a little bit more baggy. And as we have already established probably like four times, the girls are a little bit on the larger side. I am a double D, so typically I have to size up on things because of that. But I just... I don't know. It's literally not giving me anything and it just doesn't feel good. Like it doesn't feel like, I don't know, like it's something that I feel like is flattering. I feel like if I took photos in this, I would just look like a square, like a box almost. And even like when I go from the side, kind of gives me like 
three months pregnant vibes. Like the fupa's out and about. I'd probably give it like a three and a half or four out of 10 because it's not hideous. Like, especially the top. I like the top. I think that the top situation's cute. If I had a better like bandeau situation, that would be great because I can't wear bandeaus because my boobs just all over the place. But this is one that I did have like around for one reason or another. And it just like, the top is nice. I like the top. The straps are adjustable. I probably should adjust them a little bit more, but I also kind of want to show off a little bit of the bandeau. I don't really know. I don't know. It's just not giving me what I want. Like, ugh. yeah, I would say like, we'll give it like a four out of 10. Y'all, I am waiting for my camera to charge a little bit for me to keep filming, but like, these pants so I'm normally like a 29 occasionally a size 30 um in like Urban Outfitters pants like I own pairs of pants from Urban Outfitters and they're all like 29 30 for like the bag here <laughs> these fucking jeans that I just bought I got a size 30 and like the bottoms fit great <laughs> But oh my god, guys, I can't even button them up. Like, look at this. Like, are you fucking kidding me? There is no fucking way that these are size 30. There's just no way. Like, they don't even... There's nothing. Well, that's a fail. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So as you saw, snafu with the jeans. BCBG jeans, just like, or however you pronounce them, because I don't think that's actually how you pronounce them, and I'm too lazy to go check the tag. Not size correct. Size is not correct. That's, you know, neither here nor there. To be anticipated. But so I d did the best I could with like the whole, you know, vibe. I do have these pants from Target, I believe. And they're just like really baggy, like, I don't know, they're just baggy pants. They're jean looking, but they're definitely not jean material. They're more like sweatpant material. And the bottoms are kind of straight leg, maybe on a little bit of the flare side, but definitely not skinny jeans, which is the vibe we were going with. And then the top, the infamous titty top from Shein, the one that all the big titty bitches say is like God in a top, which I purchased a while ago and have never worn. So this is the first time actually wearing it. And I mean, I have to wear a bralette underneath just because like they're there. This isn't gonna hold anything up. It's really big. This was a size XL and it's like way too big. Like there's like a lot of give, like, ugh. but had to wear something underneath. Don't hate it. I don't hate the whole vibe, like obviously, we're not even gonna talk about like the jeans or whatever, but for the pants, it's kind of a vibe. It's giving me like 90s X-Tina vibes a little bit, just a little bit, maybe like some early 2000s vibes. Yeah. So very surprisingly, we're gonna give this like, I'm gonna say a nine out of 10. I'm not gonna, you know, fault the outfit for the jeans issue. That is an Urban Outfitters issue and a BCBG, however the hell you pronounce it issue. But even just with like these, I feel good in it. As a mid-sized girl, it is pretty flattering. Like, I know ties are like chuggy AF now or whatever, but like, this is cute. It gives me a little definition. I would 100% Okay, so. Moving on to the next little like trend we've got. We're just got like the really baggy, oversized, kind of like distressed t-shirt with a pair of like tight biker shorts. This is probably like the closest to like Gen Z vibes clothing wise that I would actually wear. I'm a big fan of like a good, very baggy distressed t-shirt. That's very much a vibe for me. Um, and I kind of like baggy shirts just because they're very comfortable to sleep in as well, so I own many of them. But that said, so this is a large, extra large, which like, 
okay that's fine but this is massive like this is huge and even with like the shorts to like give me some like depth or like curve or whatever there is none of that and as like a big girl like I said as a mid-sized girl there's like I'm swimming in this like this is this is big this is baggy this is like next level baggy so vibe wise I probably give it like in 8.5 out of 10 losing points because it's just like too baggy and the sizing just clearly is very off but like I like the whole like look if it were a little bit more like then it would probably get like a solid 10 out of 10 but for now this is just gonna be like 8 out of 10 8.5 out of 10 okay next we have what i'm just going to call two things thrown together because we've got the shorts which are the non-jean shorts kind of like baggy shorts without the tie that i see a lot of people wear and a lot of the time i see them wear it with just like a bathing suit top or like something like that but like this isn't that type of channel so you're not going to see me in a bathing suit but i have this like tight crop top that i feel like pairs kind of nicely with it and like if you take off the Hawaiian shirt which is like trend number two kind of it is kind of a vibe I'm not gonna lie this paired with this I would wear this to like I don't even know brunch maybe to the beach definitely like this is a vibe I like this I'm gonna give this a 8 out of 10 because it's nice but also like I do feel like it kind of doesn't go well together like this particular like top and bottom but it is what it is now this is a vibe. This looks like I am ready to go to a darty. I look like I am ready to go chug cheap warm beer in the back of a North Philly Temple student housing unit. This is like what I would typically consider like a darty outfit. And I like it. This is my dad's Hawaiian shirt. It was very, very near and dear to him and it is mine now. So like it got extra points for that. But honestly, I would wear this. Like I would wear this to like my friend's houses for like barbecues and stuff. Nine out of 10, easy. vibe more of like a going out for dinner vibe I would say and this is a top also got it from Shein and a tennis score that I got at I believe TJ Maxx it's been a while I'm not gonna lie but I thought this would be a good outfit because tops like this do not work for me and I feel like that's all I see in like Gen Z culture these days or like tops that have this like line here that are where like your titties are supposed to go but like big chested gals they don't really work for us and as you can see the line is not where my biddies end that isn't the case but it does still kind of work like I like this outfit I'm gonna be honest I like it if the sport itself fit a little bit different if it was a little bit longer I feel like this might be something that I would like actually wear if I were like going out for drinks or something but I don't know just together and I've seen outfits like this paired together like the score with like the tighter top I have seen this on Instagram on TikTok and yet it just isn't working for me I think given like the fact that my body is a little bit more like oomph than maybe some of like the typical Instagram models are that is where the issue is coming in here it's not necessarily the pairing together itself it's just how it looks on my body that isn't working. It is what it is. We're gonna score this one a 7 out of 10. I'm gonna give a solid 7. 6.57 ish. Because it is a cute outfit. It's cute together, just not cute on moi. All right, folks, so that is it. Let me know in the comments if you think that I forgot any big Gen Z trends that you want me to try to try out. Also, let me know which one was your favorite. 
I must say, shocker, I think titty top with the wide leg pants was my favorite, which I don't really think I was expecting. This was all in good fun too, let me just say that. I don't mean to, you know, continue with the, the generational war that is currently going on between the millennials and the Gen Zs. That's not the vibe I was trying to give off. I just don't really wear Gen Z clothes that often and I thought that it would be cool to try them out and it was. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a like. That way I know that you enjoy this type of content and I will continue to try to make it. I'll leave all my social media links down below. Feel free to give those a follow if you'd like to follow me on anywhere else that is not YouTube. Also, if you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe because I am trying to do this more regularly. I say that every time. It doesn't really work out. This is very sporadic, but it's a good time. So buckle up and enjoy the ride because good fun exciting things are coming and if you want to keep up with those then hit that little sub button down below but that is it for me i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you guys next time Waking up with the ghost